he is known for being an English musician and composer. He studied at the Royal College of Music in London and served in the First World War. His name is Sir George Dyson KCVO. In the world of music, there are legendary figures whose compositions continue to captivate audiences even long after their time. One such figure is Sir George Dyson, an English musician and composer whose talent and contributions to the musical landscape are unparalleled. Born in England, Dyson's musical journey began at the prestigious Royal College of Music in London. After honing his skills, he served in the army during the First World War, a defining experience that would shape his artistic expression. Following the war, Dyson embarked on a career as a schoolmaster and college lecturer, sharing his passion for music with eager students. But it was in 1938 that he achieved a remarkable milestone, becoming the director of the Royal College of Music, a position that had never been held by one of its alumni before. In this role, Dyson implemented crucial financial and organizational reforms, steering the college through the challenging days of the Second World War. As a composer, Dyson embraced a traditional idiom in his works, drawing inspiration from his esteemed teachers at the Royal College of Music, Hubert Perry and Charles Villiers Stanford. His compositions were well known and respected during his lifetime, but unfortunately experienced a period of neglect. However, in the late 20th century, his music was rediscovered and revived, allowing a new generation of listeners to appreciate the depth and brilliance of his compositions. One of Dyson's most significant works is his choral symphony titled, The Canterbury Pilgrims. This composition, inspired by Geoffrey Chaucer's timeless literary masterpiece, takes listeners on a musical journey through the stories and characters of the Canterbury Tales. With its rich harmonies and evocative melodies, the Canterbury Pilgrims showcases Dyson's mastery of orchestration and his ability to weave together intricate musical narratives. Another notable composition by Dyson is his Concerto de Chiesa, a piece for string orchestra and organ. This composition exemplifies Dyson's skill in blending sacred and secular elements, creating a harmonious and transcendent musical experience. With its soaring melodies and majestic organ passages, the Concerto de Chiesa remains a testament to Dyson's ability to evoke profound emotions through his music. Sir George Dyson's legacy as a composer is one that continues to resonate in the world of music. His dedication to his craft, coupled with his contributions as a teacher and administrator, have left an indelible mark on the Royal College of Music and the broader music community. Through his compositions, Dyson has enriched the musical landscape, reminding us of the enduring power of classical music and its ability to touch the souls of listeners across generations. George Dyson, a renowned composer, had always been regarded as a skilled technician rather than an innovator. He himself acknowledged this, stating, I am familiar with modern idioms but they are outside the vocabulary of what I want to say. Despite his technical expertise, Dyson's works were often described as ambiguous, a result of the unique combination of great musical skill and an extroverted temperament, according to a music critic from the Times. Hashtag continue hashtag although Dyson's compositions were well crafted, he never truly developed a distinct personal style or evoked strong emotions in his larger works, as noted by the same critic. However, a few of his compositions have stood the test of time and continue to be performed regularly. Among these are the Canterbury Pilgrims and two sets of evening canticles in D and F, as stated by Dyson's biographer, Paul Spicer. Hashtag continue hashtag Dyson himself listed several of his works in his Who's Who entry, showcasing the breadth of his compositions. These included pieces such as the Blacksmith's, Symphony, Violin Concerto, and Sweet Thames Run Softly. Additionally, the Dyson Trust, which oversees his musical legacy, has made available a range of compositions, including a spring garland, children's suite for orchestra, and three rhapsodies for string quartet. Hashtag continue hashtag in 2014, to commemorate the 50th anniversary of Dyson's passing, a special arrangement of his composition in honor of the city was created by Ben Costello for two pianos and percussion. This serves as a testament to the enduring influence and appreciation of Dyson's musical contributions. Do you want to explore more composers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.